And with that, we are off to News Extra today, and brought to you by Jolliffe Funeral Home. And we're just wondering out loud if apple pie will qualify as uh, the healthy apple a day idea. And that's because we're going to serve up some pie and some soup and some other good stuff at the Scotts Bluff Rural Fire Department Annual Soup Supper coming up tomorrow evening. And Becky Zitterkoff is here, and Assistant P Fire Chief Paul Reising are here. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Good morning. Nice to have you with us. What's, uh, uh, shall we say, what's cooking for, for soup supper tomorrow night? Paul, you want to start? Well, we're having our annual soup supper, and it's going to be from 5 to 7 p.m. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, we're going to have chili, chicken noodle, ham and bean soups, breads, desserts, coffee, and tea. And uh, the cost is only $6 a person, all you can eat, and 12 and under are free. Okay. And we certainly want to see our listening public show up if they can. It sounds like the weather's going to cooperate for a soup supper. Yeah. It's going to be chilly, and we hope we'll see a lot of people there uh, adding a little support to our area fire department. We uh, can always use the money to help out with various projects we've got going. We've got a, a changeover for one grass rig this year. We're going to put a bigger tank on one and another tank on another grass rig and make them a little bit better and bigger for maybe next year's trouble that we anticipate. Mm -hmm. We hope not, but it looks like to be a dry year yet. Yeah. Where uh, is the soup supper at? Where's the fire department at for folks? Okay, it's going to be at 1717 East 15th Street. That's just two blocks west of the uh, uh, Senior Citizen Center and on 21st Avenue in Scotts Bluff. And as I said, it'll be from 5 to 7 p.m. So those people that are out and about shopping, whatever, taking in various activities, come over and have a bowl of soup with us. Mm -hmm. uh, we're talking about pie. You'll have pie, right? Oh, yes. Okay. And hopefully some apple pie so <laughs> okay. they can have their apple. So we can get that fruit serving in there. Becky, uh, this has been a very busy fire season for the department and all the departments through up and down the, the region. It has. Um, it's very dry out there, guys. Still, even now that it's getting cold, just because there's not heat doesn't mean um, it's not still dry enough for a fire to occur. Um, just some you know, fire prevention tips around the house as you're putting up your Christmas lights and Christmas trees. Just make sure that you monitor all the cords and make sure nothing's frayed. Um, just be careful around your tree, making sure you watch your lights and that they're safe because those trees can burn up fast and they burn up hot and can start the rest of your house on fire. Some other things, um, as we're all turning on our heaters, um, just making sure that everything's okay there. As you start a fire in your fireplace, just making sure your chimney is all cleared out. And um, We recently did have a chimney fire, so it can happen still. Mm -hmm. And the other thing that we do a lot of times this time of year, we introduce candles into our homes. Uh, we don't put them on the trees like we <laughs> once did, which is incredible to think about. Uh -huh. But a lot of people do like the scented cal uh, candles. Of course, that's year-round, but I guess particularly at this time of year. It's something you got to be mindful of and not forget them as you go off to bed or something. It is easy. I myself burn candles all the time. You just have to mem make sure to remember, you know, it's not around anything that's flammable. It's on a safe, sturdy surface so that, you know, kids or dogs or anybody can't knock it over. Just be safe and watch it. Mm -hmm. And enjoy it, but be careful with it. Yeah. All right, we'll come back, visit a bit more in just a moment. Pull both of your mics up just a little bit closer to you. You guys don't talk as loud as Kevin. <laughs> I didn't want to get too close here. Uh, last somebody off. Uh, 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 and turn the radio off right away so you don't listen to this guy. On our News Extra program with Paul Reisig and Becky Zitterkoff from Scotts Bluff Rural Fire, they are here to visit about the annual soup supper coming up Saturday evening, 5 to 7 at the Fire Hall, 17, 17 East 15th, and some other um, fire safety items that are going on. Paul, first of all, how's membership in the Rural Fire Department? You're all volunteer. We're all volunteers, and we're always looking for more volunteers. You always have a turnover. Some people move in and out of the area, whatever. And uh, we'd really like to see some people come down. If they're interested in helping serve their community, come on down. Come down to the Soup Supper, pick up an application. We'd sure like to pick up some more members. We can always use them. It's important, and it 
it is a service to your community. It really is. And we're glad to have some more people apply. Um, also like to say this time of the year for the farmers and all, it, we know you're doing some outside burning occasionally. Be careful. It is dry out there. We just had a fire call the other night where a person was burning right next to a corn stock field that had been harvested. But that's a danger. If you get that fire going, it could be 60, 80 acres of corn stock to burn, livestock out there, something like that. So be aware of that. And uh, we do give burn permits there at the rural fire station for, uh, on Tuesday nights and also Saturday mornings. So those that need burn permits, continue to come. We're allowing the burning yet. We just want them to be careful and be safe. Have some water around. Yeah. Becky, how about you? Uh, we say firemen generally. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> How's it been for you to be in the fire service? Um, it's been it's been in a pretty good experience. There isn't very many other females um, uh, around here that are firefighters. There's a there's a few hand handful. Um, you know, females, girls out there. It's, it would be great to have you on our department as well. Um, we can do it just as well as firemen. What brought you to do it? Um, I was going to school to be a paramedic and just being around the field and seeing how much I can help people. I really wanted to join the fire department and help people on that side. Oh, great. Well, we thank you for your service. It's a great uh, service for volunteers uh, here in Scotts Bluff, throughout the area. Our, our fire departments depend on volunteers, and uh, we appreciate all you do. Thank you. And again, uh, you can say thanks by attending the soup supper on uh, Saturday evening. And uh, you started to mention some of the projects you do with these kind of funds, uh, Paul? Yes. Uh, as I said, we a lot of times have to rearrange and, and overhaul some units during the winter and things for the grass firefighting and forest firefighting. And, and we do have two that are coming up this year that are going to be changed a little differently and, and more uh, water added to one. Things like that. We're also constantly replacing smaller tools and things like that. And, uh, you know, the, the fire department uh, continues to offer services to our patrons of the district and things like that, too, use of the club room and whatever that so it, it takes money to do all this and it, it really helps out when the patrons come in and uh, support us at our soup suppers pancake feeds things like that okay. well again it sounds like it'll be wonderful and we'll have to set aside some pie for you thank you <laughs> okay Paul Rising and Becky Zittercott with us today on News Extra